Bear Bear, and it was a great book. But what will you read next? The story doesn't sound like it's over yet. What will happen to Cole when he returns back to Minneapolis? Will he be friends with Peter? You are in luck, because there is a sequel called Ghosts of Spirit Bear. Many people like this sequel, and say it's a heartwarming book. One person said it's the best sequel Touching Spirit Bear could ever have. But I wanted to check this book out for myself, so I went to the library. I found the book and started reading. I didn't waste any time. I dove right in. I went all in, not only me, but my family too. I read, and I read, and I read. I was so close to being done, and then I finished. Ghost of Spirit Bear starts with Cole and Peter leaving the island. They have to take down the cabin and make it look like they weren't there. They return to Minneapolis as friends, trying to fit back into high school. There are lots of bullies at Minneapolis Central High. They bugged Peter and this made Cole angry. They tried to keep their anger in like they did back on the island, but it was hard. They missed soaking in the pond and rolling their anger away. A bully named Keith and his gang bugged everyone at school. Cole saw this and wanted to beat the bullies up, but decided to go to the new principal, Mrs. Kennedy, with his idea to make school a better place. The boys thought that having a justice circle around the football field with the whole school would help the students. But to see if this idea actually worked, you have to read the second book. So, do I suggest this book to students? I would say yes. It's an easy read and only 150 pages long. If you already read the first book and you're looking for something else to read, I would totally suggest this book to you. It's a great way to end off the book, Touching Spirit Bear.